Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Oh my goodness, this is something I call must see Project View Presets. All right, last week I showed you saving metadata uh, and reusing that to help organize things. Well, if you take that and then combine it with the project panel uh, view presets, then you can do so many amazing things and you can even do it with keyboard shortcuts. It's so powerful. Let's go have a look. So I'm in the essentials workspace and my project panel is over here. And if I want to make that larger, double clicking on the name, will make it larger, double clicking again makes it smaller. So just like in my previous tutorial, I showed you all of this information and it can be overwhelming. Well, if we go back to the little Hamburg menu and go down to these view presets, and I've saved a bunch of these, and to make one, you just select save view presets, and um, well, this one is the one I've got here, but save a new one and you name it. And you can easily share these. They're in your documents folder on both Mac and Windows, in the Adobe folder, in the Premiere Pro, latest version, the profile name that you're, uh, you're using, and then right there, settings and project view, there they are. So you could select those and copy them, put them into a new uh, uh, system and that all the same settings would be there. If you want to overwrite the one you have, then you just save here. This also takes into account the sort order. So at the top of the header in this list view, you can see that I'm sorting based on name. So not only can you change the view from list to thumbnail to freeform and much more, you can save the metadata and the sort information. So if you want to change the metadata, back to the flyout menu, go to the metadata display, and turn on and off the sections here, uh, the properties that you want to use in this new view. Then you save the view, and then they show up. Then you can go down into manage saved view presets, as I've done, and I've saved keyboard shortcuts here. Now I'll show you where the shortcuts are, but here I'm designating this. So the default I have on one and thumbnails on two, uh, freeform name sort on three, and then the last one was a project view setting uh, of four. So watch this. I'm going to hold, uh, on my example, I'm using Alt 1, 2, 3, 4. But you can use any keyboard shortcut. This is one, this is two, that's three, and that's four. Oh my goodness. So not only is the view changing, but the sort order and the metadata that I'm using. So even going back from here, look at this all of that information and all of that information. So let's go look at the keyboard shortcuts where we set that up. Edit menu, keyboard shortcuts, and I'll search for view presets, preset, and you can see them down here. We get 10 of them, you don't get uh, any more, but you can set up 10 of these in um, your keyboard shortcuts. And I've just done the first four. So again, all you have to do is choose them. And you don't even have to change the metadata display. If all you want to go from the, the uh, item view, the list view to thumbnails and back and forth, then you just save two and you don't change any metadata. But again, you can save sort order and metadata if you want. So like I, I did before in the previous uh, tutorial, I go to my metadata display and I've saved that information in here. Uh, so when I click on it, then it changes everything. Now I could save this as a new sort preset and that's what would show up with th uh, the thumbnails and this information. Um, I'll go back to the, the first one and show you that, and this is an easy one for people to miss, back to the little Hamburg menu, you can actually turn thumbnails on and you can make them larger in this view. So I could keep this as another view as I've done right here. Boom, 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 boom. Up to 10 of these 
very easy to use. And they really help you sort that information. The only thing to keep in mind is you do have to have the project panel in focus. So the blue line, I'm selecting this. If I'm down here and I'm hitting the keyboard shortcuts, nothing's happening. If I'm selecting that, now it's changing based on that information. So all of the information, all of the view information down here that you can set, and here when we click on this, we could also use this sort order. Um, and again, it's saved. You can save the size of these. So if you wanted giant thumbnails to view, um, then you could save that and jump between all of those different views. It is just unbelievable how rich of the information that you have in the project panel, but now you get to control how quickly you can jump through them. Yeah, this is this is pretty big. And I'm sure, especially for somebody doing documentaries, who they have an ocean of information and you can set that metadata up uh, in, in so many different ways. And again, I'll put the link down in the uh, description about my um, tutorial on making tags. And there's no tags in, in Premiere Pro, but you can add that category and search by that. So I think this is really useful. I think everyone from uh, casual users, new users and professionals will be able to jump all over this and uh, make it work for them. Hey, if you're new to video revealed and you have found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once a month and lots of free stuff for you to download there. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to go back to things that are in Premiere Pro and make sure you know that they're there so you can get the most out of using the project panel.